Hello and Happy New Year. I'm Jacqueline Stewart, coming to you from the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures in Los Angeles. Tonight on Silent Sunday Nights, we're kicking off the new year with an exciting, swashbuckling adventure starring Douglas Fairbanks. It's a 1921 adaptation of Alexander Dumas' most famous novel, The Three Musketeers. Douglas Fairbanks made this film at a high point in his career. By 1921, he had become a household name, thanks to his starring performance in the swashbuckling adventure, The Mark of Zorro, released in 1920. That same year, he also became half of Hollywood's most powerful celebrity couple when he married America's sweetheart, Mary Pickford. At the time he made The Three Musketeers, Douglas Fairbanks was 38 years old and arguably too old to play the youthful character, D'Artagnan. But he was at the height of his popularity and a major box office draw. So he was in a position to pick whatever material he wanted, and he wanted to play D'Artagnan. The Three Musketeers was the perfect follow-up to The Mark of Zorro. Once again, Fairbanks got a chance to show off the kinds of graceful stunts and daring sword fights that thrilled audiences and made him a star. Playing the Three Musketeers are Leon Barry, George Siegman, and a young Eugene Paulette. The cast also includes Adolf Manju in the role of Louis XIII. The film was directed by Fred Niblo, who went on to become one of the most prominent directors in Hollywood during the silent era. Four years after finishing this film, he helmed the 1925 epic Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ. But here, from 1921, we bring you The Three Musketeers. Douglas Fairbanks later reprised the role of D'Artagnan in the 1929 film, The Iron Mask. He had idolized the character from the time he was a boy, but when he reread the novel in preparation for this 1921 production, he was shocked. He didn't remember it being so overtly violent and frankly sexual. He later remarked it was difficult to make D'Artagnan acceptable for a 1921 audience. This wouldn't be the last time that Hollywood would attempt to bring Dumas' novel to the screen. In 1939, Don Amici and the Ritz brothers appeared in a musical comedy version. In 1948, MGM produced a lavish Technicolor adaptation starring Gene Kelly and Lana Turner. But it wasn't until 1973 that a film version was able to capture the more suggestive tone of the original novel. That version starred Michael York, Oliver Reed, Charlton Heston, and Faye Dunaway. Up next, Alicia Malone is here to introduce this week's TCM Import. Be sure to join me here next week for another Silent Sunday Night. Until then, I'm Jacqueline Stewart. Thanks for watching.